In this video, we're going to create an Octave document from Salesforce. We'll generate that Octave document using data from a Salesforce opportunity. We'll then customize that document, making some basic content edits within Octave's web editor and pulling in an asset from Octave's asset library. We'll share that document with a recipient from the opportunity context related list, track how that recipient interacts with the document, and close that document using Octave eSignature while updating opportunity stage automatically. So to get started, on my opportunity, I have my new document button and my Octave documents related list. In this case, we'll click our new document button. And this is going to land me on the starting point for my document. At this point, I'll add in some of my own customizations here using Octave's web editor. And we can scroll down to see some additional content and using the table of contents on the left side of my screen, I'll navigate to the different pages. On my customer testimonials page, I see that variables represented here as text highlighted in yellow are pulling in values from my Salesforce opportunity. This variable affects which of my testimonials show up on this page. We see those represented as dashed boxes of content beneath. On the next page on my order form, I have more variables pulling in and clicking preview variable toggle again, I see that information populates correctly from Salesforce. On my terms and conditions page, again, I have some additional content that is showing or hiding with that preview toggle on based on data flowing in from Salesforce. If I want to customize this further, I also have my asset tab on the right side of my screen where I can choose from different content types. For now, we're happy with how it is, so we'll go to the Next Steps panel and click Publish Now. Next, I'll be prompted to Add People, where I'll add Salesforce contacts, which will add my contacts from my related list on my opportunity. We'll click Submit, Send Email Now, where I'll include all recipients and edit the email if I choose to and click send for Octave to send that email on my behalf. At this point, Octave is sending the email on behalf of my user. And flipping to my inbox, I'm viewing this email now as my recipient. I'll click the link to the document and open it in an incognito window. Now, I'm viewing this document as my recipient, which I can see here. I have the chance to review the document online, flip between pages using that table of contents, see only the content that was relevant to me based on information my document owner had, I'll review the pricing here, the terms and conditions, and once I'm ready to accept the document, I'll use the accept call to action in the upper right. Clicking accept, we see Octave's own electronic signature tool. We'll type or draw our name, enter our email, and click sign. Once signed, I'll receive an email notification with a link to this document as the recipient and as the document owner. I can get back to this document from that email or download the signed PDF here. In addition to the email receipts that I'm receiving as the document owner, I'll flip back to the opportunity, again viewing this as the document owner, where I can see that my document is updated to accepted and my signer status updated to signed. I also have a view report button available and clicking that, we can see who received the document or who viewed the document and how long they viewed it. Flipping to the content tab, I can see per page 
who viewed which page and for how long. At this point, I'll go back to my opportunity. And here we can see that it has been updated to closed one, and I can see my Octave document on my related list. That's been a summary of how to generate a document from an opportunity in Salesforce, make some customizations to that document using Octave's web editor and seeing how variables affect the content in the document, using the asset library to bring in additional content, sharing that document with a recipient from the opportunity contacts related list, tracking how that recipient interacted with the document, and closing that document with Octave e signature and automatically updating opportunity stage to closed one.